will be able to forgive them if you understand that what is happening to you is your own coming back to you. Maybe you have behaved not in the right way with those people some months ago. Now, now that is coming back to you. If you understand this, you have created an action in the past, near or remote. Now that action is to be balanced out by a reaction. It is only when they behave nastily towards you that your action which you committed long ago will be balanced out. And the sooner they do it, the better. Because if you wait, then the interest will keep on as it will be a <laughs> We have another question. Why does reincarnation exist and when do we stop reincarnating? Why do we? Why does reincarnation exist and when do we stop reincarnating? There is no reincarnation in the mind of God. Reincarnation is a word which we human beings have invented because we have not understood the way the cosmos has been built. To God, it is like this. Today I come to you wearing a shawl. Tomorrow I come to you wearing a coat, wearing a jacket. Will you say that I am a different person? The person is the same, but it is only the form that changes. The form has no value. It is the individual that is inside the form or that wears the form. He is the same individual. He, today he has worn a jacket. Tomorrow he comes in a t-shirt. Day after tomorrow he comes naked. But he is the same man. Is that clear? Yes. One another question? Yeah, one there. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I, I read a quote from you uh, in one of your words that uh, you can judge a character of a man based on what they do in their free time, okay? And my question is that a lot of us have a lot of goals. We achieve them, we have more goals. And one of the difficulties is choosing what to do in your free time. And meditation, yes, we can do maybe an hour a day. But what are some of the things that we can do that would, uh, if you will, give us some peace in our free time and also at the same time be amused with our own self, if you will, where we find peace with ourselves without requiring other distractions like TV or your friends or anything like that, but finding inner peace with yourself and inner happiness in your free time after like, trying to achieve your goals and after achieving your goals. He wants to know what to do with his free time. If he has free time, what is good besides meditation? What will be good and enlightening for him to do? You are doing well if you are doing meditation, but meditation should be blended with service of those that are in need. Otherwise, meditation will have no value. The power that you get in meditation, that which you earn in meditation, you must go and spend in the service of the people who are around you. What can he do, the young people, the young generation, what can they do to be part of this? We have, uh, uh, our Sadhu Vatswani mission has uh, youth centers of youth. They are known as bridge builders. Bridge builders. Then from time to time they go and visit homes for the aged, orphanages, schools for the blind, and they go and meet, they speak to them in blood, they look into their needs, yes. they give them company. There are so many uh, inmates of the homes for the aged. Mm -hmm. They actually shed tears when these young people go and meet them and tell them that we are your children. Their children don't come and see them. Their children are too busy. Yeah. So, 
Uh, thank you for listening. I'm the first time here. My question is, what happens after that we die? In other words, I find difficult to accept that the human being with his brain, with his talent, with his art, once is that is finished. He floats somewhere in the air. What does it happen? What happens when we die? Yeah. You don't die. <laughs> Who said that you will die? <laughs> Remember, whatever God gives, he gives forever. He doesn't take it back. He has given you life, it is yours unto eternity. He will not take it back. You don't die, but it is your jacket which will die. Yes, but uh, do you think it's fair that some very clever people, some genius, once they are dead, everything is finished? We cannot get in contact with them, we cannot talk to them, and we cannot learn from them anymore. Do you think it's fair when someone dies, or genius, or someone very bright, and when they die, their, their ideas die? The everything dies with him? Is that so, or there is something no, more? No, no, nothing dies with him. He carries the same habits, the same thoughts, the same way of life that he has lived. He carries with himself. And he, he, it was Jesus who said, in my father's house are many mansions. This is only, this earth is only one mansion. So you move, move on from one mansion to another. The universe is vast. The cosmos is vast. And the ideas travel through time and space and yes. everything. Yes. We are here that. It's a pleasure to listen to you. Hi, Megaba. It's a pleasure to listen to you. I'm very excited. Well, what is the question? If I hurt someone, I have hurt someone. If I've hurt someone. How can I repair that person? And if that has taken me away from that person, how, how do I get back repair? together? How can I repair it? Then you sit in silence, sit in silence and imagine a ball of light, light. A ball of light, light. Let you be in that ball of light, light and invite that person to come and join you in that ball of white light. And you will be able to, yes. Si se puede. Dada, is it possible to respect someone without loving him or her? Respect without you, love? You have to respect your uh, superiors without loving them. <laughs> there, there was a boss, he was very rude to his assistant. But they had to respect him. Or they had to quit. We <laughs> <laughs> have one there. This is my first time coming and I really have enjoyed being here. Thank you so very much. My question is, we are now playing with genes and people are making decisions as to what genes their children are going to have. Do you think that this in any way affects humanity? She's asking about we're playing with genes and some people use genes to say we're going to have someone like this with these genes. Does that affect humanity? Humanity, the use of genes? Today, we are playing with genes. They, in Kanabaran, they order the genes, no, Dada, genes, G E N E S. So today, we decide the genes of our children. So he, she is saying, will that affect humanity? Because we are creating like our own children with own uh, genes and all the technology to do science. Your children form part of humanity and your genes affect your children. They will naturally affect the totality of the human race. Good genes, good humanity. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's a, that was the last question. Well, 
I think we included all the questions that right? you answered. Many, many, many questions you answered. And, uh, Parece que hay, hay algo importante. No, ok, now ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of our Sadhu Aswani Foundation, we will, uh, on behalf of the Sadhu Aswani Foundation, we want to thank the, His Excellency the Ambassador and our Governor of Colon. So we prepared a felicitation for them, a shawl and a coconut, which we would like you to just give them and, uh, as a token of appreciation and welcoming them all year for the evening. With your permission, sir. It's very kind of them to have come and blessed us. It's very kind of you, sir. His Excellency the Governor. Ambassador. An honorable. Gov ambassador. Gov Governor Ambassador yeah. Bhutta, yeah, yeah. Very kind of you to have come and blessed us. You are the shining stars in this hall. Now I will come no, in. That will come in. Achanda. Tandi da Achanda. Achanda. Please da. You da na. Then they will come. Venga, señor. Esto es un símbolo de apreciación que han venido acá. Un bendición, como se dice. Es un placer de haber conocido a usted hoy. Es mío. So the joy is mine, uh, ver un representante del cielo en este país. He, he says you are a representative from the heaven for us on this earth. That's called the big round. So you are a representative. He says you are a representative. So kind of you, sir, to have come and bless us all. Thank you, sir. It's my honor, my pleasure. Many, many years to you. Thank you, my honor. This is my blessing, my good luck. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ray. <laughs> Shall we close that? Well, if there are any questions, I'd Thank you. Thanks to you. Well, again, thank you for coming over here. And we will appreciate. Please remain seated. The doors are closed still. Please, we request you tell Dadaji, walk out of the hall. Just remain seated. And after that, we have some refreshments on the way out. And our bookstore. Please do not forget to pass by the bookstore. We have some beautiful books released in Spanish today. We have an English. And they are all on a big time offer today. So just please, for a few moments.